Hello there. <laughs> Almost lost my camera there. I love riding my bike. And while it's a great form of exercise, that's not the reason why I ride it. Riding my bike is so much fun. It's a lot of fun. And it reminds me of being a kid because when I was a kid, that was the closest thing to flying that I could get, right? It felt like I was infinite. It felt like the world was my oyster. It felt like I could go anywhere on my bike. When I had a pair of wheels and my friends, I was having so much fun. And I feel like I've lost that connection with my childhood self and I'm trying to get it back because for a while I've made everything about making money, about being productive, about being a productive member of society, about trying to be successful. And I'm really redefining that version of success to mean joy, happiness, pleasure, fulfillment. And I don't think that fulfillment and pleasure and joy comes from the things we think it comes from. I don't think it comes from success. It doesn't come from who knows our name. It doesn't come from the money. It comes from us setting intentions and being uh, intentional about having fun and enjoyment and pleasure. Just think about being a kid. It was so easy to have fun. Play was second nature. Play was all we did. All we did was play. And through playing, playing we learned, we built community, we built love for ourselves, we trusted ourselves, but somewhere along the line between you know, childhood and adolescence, we lose this essence of joy, of pleasure. We're taught that it's about making good grades, it's about people liking us, it's about making money. You know what I mean? And through all that stuff, we lose ourselves. We lose ourselves and we lose play. And a lot of us are miserable, not because we don't have the things we want in life, but because we're not being intentional about playing. So I really want to ask you, when was the last time that you played? When was the last time you had fun on purpose? Not vacation, because vacation is set as a reward. Like, oh, I've worked so hard these 50 weeks. So for these two weeks, I'm going to have all the play and all the fun. And then you're exhausted and going back into that cycle. When was the last time you set aside a morning or an afternoon or a day to just pleasurable activities, to just having fun, <laughs> to watching the butterflies, to watching clouds pass by, to watching the grass grow? When was the last time you were present do you even know what brings you joy and pleasure? <laughs> you know, like, and it doesn't have to be the, this extravagant thing. It doesn't have to be this expensive thing. It could be riding your bike. It could be taking a walk. It, it could be blowing bubbles, playing tag. It could be playing with your kids. But I think it's really important that it's time that we prioritize pleasure, joy, and fun. Because all these things that we think we're gonna find happiness and satisfaction in are not satisfying. It's never enough. It's up to us to really choose to be happy on purpose. It's up to us to choose to be happy today, to choose joy, to choose to place ourselves in positions and in alignment with things that actually make us happy. Be happy now, not later on in your life. Be happy today. Ooh, helmet hair. <laughs> So what I want to be clear on is that I'm not talking about toxic positivity that says just choose to be happy. Happiness is a choice. That's not what I'm talking about. Happiness is a feeling and emotion. So is sadness. So is sorrow. So is anger. And all those feelings have a place in our life. It's not necessarily about choosing to switch on and off happiness like a light switch, but it is about putting ourselves in alignment in a life that we want to live. So putting ourselves in places that make us happy, around people that brings us joy, around activities that bring us joy, right? Setting the intention to experience joyful experiences on purpose. So if I'm choosing joy on purpose, no matter what resources I have or access I have, I can choose joy in my everyday life. For example, I can choose to ride my bike. I can choose to eat food that makes me happy. I can choose to hang around people that bring me joy. I can choose to listen to music that brings me joy. It's really about setting the intention to experience joy in every little moment in our lives and not waiting for this big grandiose adventure or big thing to experience to be happy. It's really about taking our joy into our own hands and setting aside the things that take away from our joy, the things that make us sad, the things that bring us sorrow, the things that exhaust us, setting the intention to bring joy in our lives. So really it's about being intentional about the little things, the little joys in our life. So for me, I can tell when I'm not tending to my joy because I feel heavy, I feel burdened, I feel exhausted, I feel um, angry sometimes. And the way that I experience joy is by singing, by creating, by making, by taking in creativity, by being around the people that I love. And when I'm neglecting those things and prioritizing production or hustling or grinding, I can tell that my joy well is not being filled and my heart is not happy because I haven't been experiencing joy. So for yourself, find the little joys in your life that bring you happiness, pleasure, enjoyment, adventure, and do those things. Be intentional about doing those things. Set the intention and be intentional because your joy is worth experiencing. Your joy is worth having, but it starts with you choosing to experience those joys and not waiting for permission 
permission from other people to experience those things, but really taking your life into your own hands, you know? And sometimes we delay our joy because we're waiting for someone to give us permission to experience the things we want to experience in life. Permission to experience joy, waiting for the money, waiting, waiting for the right person, when really it's about us choosing to put ourselves in alignment with joy, pleasure, and adventure in our everyday life. Like we have the power, we have the pleasure, we have the privilege of experiencing joy every single day. And it doesn't have to be in the big things and we don't have to wait for permission. We can give that permission to ourselves because that's the only person we need permission from anyway. Because sadly, if we're waiting for the world to give us permission to experience joy, we will never experience it because we have to be worthy. We have to earn it. Oh, you don't have enough money. You don't work enough. You're not, you're not, you're not allowed to experience joy. You're not allowed to go on vacation. You're not allowed to have fun. It's, fun is almost treated like the reward for hard work, the reward for hustling and grinding, right? But it's our jobs to really curate the life that we want to live. And a lot of that starts with choosing joy every single day. So maybe on your ride to work, there is a scenic route you like to take where you take in the trees and the nature and the beautiful people. Maybe there is a food that makes you happy. Maybe, you know, there's music you can listen to while you're working that brings you joy. Choose joy. Everything doesn't have to be so hard and so difficult and so serious. Some things can just be for pleasure and for fun. And we can, you know, take little nuggets, take little moments of joy and pleasure in our life. And then throughout the day, the, the small nuggets that we take add up to a big pot of joy, right? So we have to be intentional about experiencing those things and taking joy for ourselves because it's ours. It's ours for the taking. I love bubbles. <laughs> There's something poetic about blowing bubbles in that it was beautiful for a moment, it's a vapor and then it's gone, right? And so our lives are a vapor in the same way that bubbles are. And we miss our lives so much because we're hoping and waiting and trying to focus on the future or like living in the past or reliving experiences that we're missing the moment, that we're missing the opportunities to create and play. And blowing bubbles is therapeutic for me because it's not productive. It's not helping anybody, it's just helping me be in the moment and be happy for a second, right? To prioritize happiness. In real life, blowing bubbles is frivolous, right? It's just water and soap and I'm blowing air to make these little, you know, spheres that are iridescent. And that's the thing that brings me happiness. For that moment, it's worth being in that moment, blowing that air, seeing those iridescent bubbles fade away slowly into the mist, right? Into the mist. Like it's, it's a beautiful moment and it's really like meditative. It's really grounding. And I really enjoy it because it allows me to just be, to be a kid. Like I'm t like, yes, if there are kids around me, they can enjoy it too, right? They can like run in it, jump in it, poke at it and stuff like that. But for me, when I'm by myself, it's really reminiscent of a time where life was slow and life was easy because I chose to make it easy because I had the option of making it easy. I had the option of being present, the option of doing something just for the sake of doing it, not to please anybody, not to make anybody else happy, but just doing something because it feels good. And that is enough reason to do something. You don't have to have this large reason. Like there are benefits to play, obviously. It's good for your health, your mental health, your physical health because it relieves stress. It's also creativity, so you're learning. You're, it's meditative, yes, but really it's just because it's fun. That's enough reason to do something, enough reason to try something because you wanna try it. You don't have to earn that. I don't have to earn blowing bubbles. Low key, I can make this for free in my bathroom, right? Like I don't have to earn doing that. It's really about taking a moment, breathing, being present and centered and loving myself, loving myself enough to allow myself to just be human, to be a kid for five minutes. And so I want you to do the same thing. A lot of us feel like in our lives that there has to be more, like there has to be more. Is this all there is? But really where we are is there's gold. There's gold waiting for you to recognize it, waiting for you to see it, right? Blowing bubbles is a golden moment for me. Like it's not out there, it's not far away. It's right now, it's right here. And with this blowing bubbles, I can add so much more joy to my life, to my day, just by choosing to breathe breath. Isn't that beautiful? It's time for us to be more intentional about bringing joy to our lives. And one of the ways that I'm doing that is by making a list. I am making a list of everything that makes me happy. Everything that brings me joy, pleasure, uh, fulfillment, adventure, things that feed my curiosity, right? So one of the things I love doing is riding my bike, blowing bubbles, listening to music, dancing, taking walks, um, taking road trips. These are things I really enjoy doing and it's not really productive. It doesn't have to be something to make money. It doesn't have to be something that other people have to approve of. It's stuff that I enjoy myself. I love autumn. <laughs> I love autumn. It is one of my most happiest moments of the year. 
And during that, during that season, I list out everything that brings me joy. Drinking, you know, hot, uh, hot apple cider, going to the pumpkin patches, um, walking around, watching the leaves change color, taking pictures, taking nature walks with my, with my camera. These are things that brings me joy. These are things that bring me pleasure, fulfillment. These are things that are grounding, that are centering, that allow me to just be human and to be a kid for a moment, right? Looking at the flowers blooming, you can't really see them, but there are flowers around me, looking at them, seeing the bees take the pollen and take them off to wherever they're going, right? Those are things that fill us with awe and wonder. And that's why as a kid, we felt so infinite because there was infinite beauty and mesmerizing things around us and we chose to admire those things but as adults we get so serious and so laser focused that we're missing everything beautiful on the outskirts of our lives we're missing everything beautiful because we're so focused on money so focused on you know success or fame or whatever it is people liking us like but when we're kids we're able to be curious because we're able to be present we're able to be eye length with so many glorious things in nature so many glorious things in our homes right so many glorious people but we're failing to recognize those things and it's time for us to be more intentional. So I, I urge you to make a list, to make a list of things that make you happy. Think about that stuff. When was the last time you thought about what makes me happy? What makes me happy? And yes, money could be on that list, sure, if it makes you happy, but really it's about what that money can afford you. It's not really about that money, it's about the opportunities. But even if you don't have the resources that you think you need to be happy, what can you do today to make yourself happy, to fulfill yourself, to fill yourself with joy? Like God is so generous in that and that he gives us so many things to be happy and joyous about. But it's up to us to choose to see it, to admire it, and to cherish those things. We're missing out on our lives because we choose to miss out on our lives. All right, so what's my point in all this, right? My point is that life doesn't have to be so complicated and so hard. And sometimes joy is on the other side of your choice. Joy doesn't have to be this complicated, far off thing, you know, on the other side of a long vacation or traveling the world or even leaving the country. Sometimes joy can just be a choice. And sometimes it's up to us to make that choice to live the life we actually wanna live. So don't wait to live your life. Don't delay joy, don't delay your life. Live it today in whatever way that you can. And that's enough and that's okay. So let's live, let's live.